Hi, welcome to today's video. Our question on um, our quiz question on C more function and more words loop. Okay, we are going to start today's question. <clears throat> Make sure you check them out. Make sure you read it. So, uh, if you want me to do uh, explain the, the how we, we get the answer, please drop that on the on the comment section. Okay, I would I will, I will surely get back to you. On that so uh, let me quickly just dive into the question so that we can answer them as fast as we can okay number one question say which sorry what is the output of the following piece of code this is this is the initialization this sorry this is the declaration this is an initialization and this is the while loop this why why this is the decremental value okay then what is our answer? Our answer is going to be, our answer is this. Our answer is this. Nine, nine, eight. So nine will decrement from the 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 the, the 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 second part, which is eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay. Now this two is this the same thing, just that this one decrement while the, the decrement the decremental sign came fall after the i okay they are all the same thing so the answer is still the same okay what is the output of the following piece of code okay the output of the following piece of code should be is this guy here okay that is the answer why because anytime i is equals to zero when i is equals to zero, the this this loop will terminate, will terminate, right? And so for this increment to hold, i will continue to increment from from uh, what, uh, from one, two, three, four. So it, it until it's greater, uh, you continue to increase until you get to the condition where uh, which is nine. Okay, which is nine. So that is why we, 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 we that is why we are taking this one. So what it means is the incremental as long as i is greater than zero or equals to that uh, a nine, it will continue to it, it will continue to iterate positive uh, number. Okay, it's wanting to increase. So if you want more, more explanation on this, drop a comment section. I will break it down. Okay, so. What is the output of the following piece of code? Okay, remember I said this is the declaration, initialization, and anytime i is equals to, uh, anytime i is lesser than or uh, is equals to zero, the 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 print uh, the while loop will will terminate. Okay, and this is increment, so it will increment from what zero increment from one above right to increment it will increment so now what now after it's increment it will be divided all the increments will be divided by these two so it will increment by two it will increment and be divided by two the increment will be divided by two okay now if you check here this is the answer okay okay so two divided by five is what two divided by ten is what five okay um, 9 divided by 2 is 4. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 7 divided by 3, it can only go 3 times, right? We don't keep remainder. Okay? 3, 6 divided by 2, it can only go 3 times. We don't keep remainder. Um, 4 divided by 2, uh, sorry, 5 divided by 2, uh, uh, 2, we don't, no remainder, we remainder 1. This divided by 2, remainder 1. Okay? Uh, one divided by two divided by uh, two is one. Then one still remain, still remain one. Okay, that is how we got answer. If you want more exclamation uh, explanation, drop it on the chat. So continue. So I want to make this video really short for people. So what is the output of the following piece of code? Okay, what is the output of the following piece of code? Now. This already this this is a for loop, right? 
this is the de declaration uh, this is the declaration of i you uh, in the, 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 the in, with a uh, the type int okay now for for, for loop this is called there are three parts this is called the initialization this is called the condition and this is the word this is the incremental value incremental sign over uh, yeah that's the increment okay so they said now we want to increase so as long as this i is great lesser than 10 keep increasing keep increasing that is what it means so as long as that is going to stand it should work keep increasing and it will not just increase it will be multiplied as it's increasing it's, it's going to be multiplied so when you now it's multiplying when you now say two multiply by what you know when you say multiply keep increasing mean from from zero one two three four five six seven eight nine that is where you're going to stop because they did not yeah is lesser than ten it should not be more than uh, uh, ten so in that case you will see that zero in this this is the answer zero two times zero is what is two two times one two 2 times 4, 2 times 2, 4, 2 times 3, 6, 2 times 8, 2 times 5, 2 times 10, 2 times 9, 18. So that's how you got it. We get the answer there. So what is the, the next question says, what is the word return? What is the return value of the word of the function? Okay. You can, you can see that the function is declared as an is some function void, which means that which means that it's some function void, which means that uh, it return a value of type int, right? A value of type int, and it does not take any argument. That is why it's void. It doesn't take any argument. So inside the function, uh, a function, a, a for loop is used to print the number of what, of uh, or, or numbers. It's going to use to print the number of zero, true nine okay why do we say zero true nine because you can see from here it's already initialized this is the condition and this is the increment so it will going to be printed from zero true nine using what the print function are you getting it using the okay print function right using the print function then i are you getting it so at the end of the function the return statement is used to return the value of i to the caller because the for loop increments i by one on each iteration and the loop terminates when i is equals to 10. The value of i at the end of the function will now be what 10. As a result, a uh, function will return the value of what 10. So our instead of this this i now will what return what ten. So this is our answer. Why? Because this that that is the return value. The return value is what ten. You know it's going to iterate from zero through nine. So when you count it zero through nine, what would be how many times is that? So just like in uh, you count zero count zero nine two, zero one two three four five. If you count it, it's going to be ten. So our our return value will be what will be 10 so that's the answer so number so number six question says what is the output of the following piece of code okay what is the output of the following piece of code remember i've explained this is initial this is declaration initialization and this is the while loop and as long as y is as long as default for the while loop as uh, the while loop will continue to be executed as long as the condition of i lesser than 10 is true the condition check whether the value of i is lesser than 10 okay that condition will continue to check then inside the while loop the print function is called to print the result of the computing the remainder of i divided by the word 2 using this operator this a modules uh, this uh, operator sign called modules. Okay, this is the remind. This is the remainder. Okay, and remember that this thing is incrementing, right? It's incrementing. So now you will now see that as it eventually becomes 
10 or greater than, it will cause the loop to terminate. If it, if it becomes 10 or is greater than 10, it will cause the loop to terminate. So what will our answer be? Our answer will be 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Because if you check there, how many 5 do we have in uh, 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In 10, that is what we have. So if 2 divide 2, how many remain? Is 0. You write so there is the zero remainder. If two divides three, you will see there is one remainder. If two divides five, there will be what two can go into five. How many times? Two times. There's no uh, then there is still remain what one remain remainder. So that is how it is. So that's the answer for that. Then the number seven question: What is the output of the following piece of code? Okay, what is the output of the following piece of code? Okay, now. You can see that the, the for loop consists of three parts, which I've explained in the in the part before. So now the for loop, the for loop will continue to execute as long as the condition i is lesser than 51. It's true. This condition checks whether the value of i is lesser than 58. Are you getting it? In inside the for loop. The print a function is called to print the, the character corresponding to the ASCII code of the of the current value of i using the 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 the, the sign there using this uh, this this sign here this this sign here okay this system for character okay using that sign that that format that uh, what do you call it specifier format okay in the ascii character set so the number zero through nine are res represented by the by the code 48 through 50 50 through 50 uh, 57 right through 57 okay through 57 so what once happen so the, the the printf function will print the number zero through nine as character. So for the, the the for loop increments, so the for loop increment the value of i by one on each iteration using the incremental statement. This ensures that the value of i will eventually become fifty eight or it will be greater than, causing the loop to terminate. So. As a result, our answer is going to be what? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay? So that, that is going to be our answer. Okay? So the last question says, what is the return value of the following function? Okay? The function is declared as is some function okay which means that it returns a value type of what int and it does not take any argument inside that function the printf function is called to print the value 12. this has the effect of printing the number 12 to the standard output okay this has the effect of printing it to the standard output are you are you getting me if you have to print it to the standard output, okay, okay. So what do we do now? At the end of the function, the return value is used to return the value ninety-eight to the caller. This value is returned to the caller regardless of what the printf function prints to this to the standard output. As a result, the function will return the value, which is what is uh, 98. So that is the answer. Uh, if you have any question, please just drop it there. I'm trying my best to answer it, and I hope this will help somebody. Thank you. Let's check if it's correct. If it's not, then we'll debug together. Oh, there's one mistake somewhere. So then we have to check it. Just hold on, please. Okay, let's debug together. This is correct. This is correct. This is correct. This is correct. Ten is uh, five is correct. Yeah, this is correct. 
think it should be one that first question okay this is correct i'm sure this guy yeah the y the i before the increment we call the decrement so this one will decrement okay this one does not need this do not will decrement because as long as zero why the zero exists here no it should be decrement from there shouldn't be, there shouldn't be any zero there so there shouldn't yeah there shouldn't be any zero there okay it should be zero one two okay let's check and see I'll fill that one let me correct and see oh fantastic so the answer is not correct so please i will drop drop your copy please subscribe i will do this video just subscribe let me know i've subscribed i will just immediately i see your subscription i will continue this video uh the tax video the tax video is about um how many question 10 whoa up to 12 so we'll do it today and submit so that you can be able to submit on time so please show, show me love subscribe thank you very much